The, my favourite thing for me for this season was the fact they made him the boss. That seemed like such a great, fertile, sort of comic idea. Because he went from being this, you know, this Lothario to this kind of slightly impotent guy who he thinks is he thinks he's important and he has authority, but people are like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of close to my life. That's, you know, <laughs> I can see your attention wandering. It's know. so true though, like when you see, Thanks. when you see like Ed Weeks yeah. like seated, you're like, oh, he's like Hugh Grant. He's like this hot, super hot British guy. But then when you like watch him, he's like this nerd. He's like. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> That's yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's what it's like. That's what it's Whenever I do almost anything, Ike goes, that's not going to make it. Or he says, you British nerd. That's a Fucking nice. British nerd. Nah, but he's my favorite. I love him. I feel like I wander around and now, you know, Ike and, and David Stassen also here tonight. David Stassen, yeah. stand up. Yeah, yeah Stassen. Stand up. Yeah, stand up, David. Yeah. David, very popular on Instagram. Very popular. If he's in a photo on Instagram, people are like, what's David's deal? Yeah, is he single? <laughs> he's married and he has a daughter. <laughs> very jealous. Well, whatever, me. whatever. He's good looking, I guess. I but I feel that it. you and, um, I find that you frequently, I find, come over and I think what's a nice conversation between you and that is you menacing him <laughs> on set. Yeah, I have handprints from these big Chicagoan bears. Yeah. <laughs> Stassen and Barinholtz all over my body. They're very aggressive. They're mean. They're mean guys. He's <laughs> always half inside me, I Yeah. Guess, uh. <laughs> you know, in the, in the world, you know, Ed is a very handsome guy, great body as we have seen. And America would want to see that naked, but I think part of the culture of the show is like, oh, you want that? We're not going to give it to you. Yeah. Guess you see naked. <laughs> us. Where's Pally? Pally and yeah. us. I I'm always begging to, I walk onto set naked, and they say, no, 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 no. they move the camera away. Put on yeah. the fat suit. Yeah. Put on the fat the days suit. Days of Messina naked are over. Done. Yeah. Done. It's all me now. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add, Ed? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, just a restraining order against this. <laughs> Perfect. Zosha, I'm curious. I mean, Tamara exists in this insane <coughs> office. What is your take on her impression of her coworkers? Um, I think she's kind of like, I mind my business. Y'all mind y'all. <laughs> like, that sort of take on everyone. But I think she likes everyone. Everyone's cool. <laughs> She, she tries to act indifferent, but I think she's like, this is my secret character choice in my like character journal of my backstory. But I'm like, she's obsessed with Dr. L. She thinks she's so cool. She loves, she thinks all the guys are hot. Her and Bets are like BFF in her head and she loves her some Beverly too. But I think she just tries to like keep it kind of cool and just be like, I just do me, you do you. And just try not to get too involved. And I think my favorite line we've ever had on the show, which I will credit Dave Stassen with begrudgingly, but um, was the first or second episode back this season with James Franco when Mindy has her short haircut and she walks in with her backpack and she's like, hello everybody. Okay. And, and uh, so she, Tamara goes, uh-uh, I told you little boy, we don't want any more candy bars. 